Aloha folks and welcome to today's video. Today is April 16, 2022, and it's our full moon in Libra. We've got a fascinating chart, so let's pull it up here today. Fortunately for the Las Vegas Valley, we've got a Thema Mundi-like style chart. So we've got Libra in the fourth house, meaning the root of life is relationship itself. And it's really prevalent today because Libra, the moon in Libra is making this green line, quincunx, to Jupiter and Neptune here in Pisces. And what that indicates to me is a strong energy of the need for mastery to be able to bring in one's own personal magic on a larger global scale. And we really need to be work on being honest with ourselves. And in order to be honest with ourselves, we need to reestablish and reaffirm our relationship with ourselves. Because if we don't know who we are, we're not going to be aware of the magic that we bring into the world because the magic that we bring into the world has the potential to affect the whole world and thus the whole cosmos. If you're you and you're truly you and you bring that magic in, in no matter what odd way, in no matter what weird way that seems to bring disparate things together, it can be big. It can have massive, massive universal impact. You who are made out of otherwise inanimate elements, we're made out of carbon, we're made out of hydrogen, we're made out of silica, we're made out of calcium. These elements on their own are dead and yet somehow put together with the magic of Neptune, the magic of the soul, we're alive. <laughs> That's the power of Pisces, bringing disparate things together and somehow making something very special. Peanut butter over there, jelly over here, boom, PB&J sandwiches, the childhood classic. You're the childhood classic. <laughs> so the things that we're doing on a daily basis, sun and moon, they are, they're heavily related to the things that we're obsessed with. So it's important to really pay attention to those things. What can we see them? Can we feel into them? It's, you can't see Pluto. You can feel into it. You can feel into your obsessions because these things that we're doing are all about our destiny. There's the nodes. It's all about our destiny. Our destiny is to bring in the magic of who we are. And that means a lot of action with regard to doing the things that are necessary to survive in the future in order to survive in the future you have to be yourself thank you